What's up, YouTube? Big Andy back again with another Forza 5 video. I almost called it Call of Duty, but it's not. So what I wanted to show today is the five cars you get in the limited edition car pack. The only way to get this is to buy the limited edition of the game. Um, you can find the, the DLC code online for sale. Um, this is like eBay and things like that. But I just wanted to show you guys what you get before you go ahead and make that leap. There's uh, two other things you get with uh, the limited edition, which is a VIP membership and the day one car pack. Um, I'm going to be making separate videos of those. Buying the five these five cars in game was crazy expensive. Now these five cars are available in the game normally. Um, the only difference is you get the day one paint job that you've seen on the outside with the red, black, and silver motif going on, and they also come pre-tuned to their highest ability of the class that they come in. So they're pre-tuned cars. The first one we saw there, that was the 2011 Audi RS3 Sportback. This right here is the 2012 Aston Martin Vanquish. Pretty good car. Um, I feel like with its uh, its weight kind of slows it down a little bit. It doesn't feel like it's the best car in its class by any means. But nonetheless, it's a decent looking car. And if you already got the limited edition, why not? But I mean, overall, my entire impression of this uh, limited edition car pack is kind of save your money, in-game and real-life money, because you can get these cars anyways, and unless you really like these paint jobs, you know, not a big deal. And you can always quick upgrade them yourself to get them to where you want them to be. The next car that is included, car number three of five, is the 2013 Ford M Shelby Mustang GT500. So you see the same basic motif, silver, black, gray, or silver, black, and red. Um, this one actually felt like a, one of the better, I kind of ranked them in this video from worst to best, so as we go on here you're going to see the better cars that are available. Um, this thing felt like it had really good acceleration, good enough handling, uh, decent enough top end speed. It actually felt better than the Aston Martin for whatever reason. So I'd recommend it. It's a good car. The next car is one of my favorites, the 2013 SRT Viper GTS. It's the same one in the game for like 130,000 credits. I just really like this car visually, I think it's great. Um, it's definitely better than some of the other Vipers in the game. I think it's better than the, what is it, the 08 SRT, it's a little bit better than. Um, it's a little bit better than, I'd say the, definitely like the 96 I think is in there, it's better than that one for sure. Um, there's a couple of race version ones, um, like the 90, n number 93, the one they use in the ALMS and uh, 24 Hours of the Mods and all that stuff is in there too. I'd probably pick that car over this specific one if you're you know looking for a Viper to spend your money on, but nonetheless, not a terrible choice. And the last car available in this pack, it's a pretty epic one, it's the one on the cover. If you don't know by now, it's a nice little hybrid car, we're not talking about a Prius. It's a McLaren P1 2013. Let's take a look at how beautiful it is. Look at that. That's such a beautiful car. This one's definitely uh, the most expensive of the DLC group by far. It's not even it's not even close to the other ones. It's 1.4 million credits. Um, I pretty much destroyed a finger with all the grinding to get to it. That's what she said. But that's pretty much it. Does the five cars. Long story short, they have different all matching paint job well, different than everything else, but the, all five of these cars have matching paint jobs. And they come pre-tuned to the highest um, specifications of their class. And that's pretty much it. So do I think it's worth it? No. Save your in-game credits and your real in wallet. Be sure to check out my other Forza 5 videos and subscribe. I've got the uh, VIP membership pack coming out soon, as well as the day one car pack videos. I'll go over all the cars in there. I'll let you guys know what I think. Until then, you guys, have a good one.